So now let us look at these two very simple examples. Integration from minus 1 to 2 x dx. So let us first find the answer directly using our mathematical process. So the integration is equal to, we know that the integration of x is x square by 2 between the limits minus 1 and 2. That is equal to. So if you put the upper limit, you get 2 square by 2 minus of, if you put 1, if you put minus 1 in the place of x, minus 1 whole square by 2. That is equal to 2 square by 2 minus minus 1 whole square is 1, 1 by 2. So 4 minus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2. So integration of x dx between minus 1 and 2 is equal to 3 by 2. And what is the integration of x minus 2 between 1 and 4? So the integration of x is x square by 2 minus integration of 2 is 2x between 1 and 4. So you substitute the upper limit. So 4 square 16 by 2 is 8 minus 4 2 z 8 minus. So you put 1, 1 by 2 minus 2 into 1 is 2. That is 0 minus of minus 3 by 2 which is equal to 3 by 2. So this answer is equal to 3 by 2. This answer is also equal to 3 by 2. Now let us try to understand this answer geometrically. So if you draw the graph of y is equal to x, so if you draw the graph of y is equal to x, so this is my f of x, so if you draw the graph of y is equal to f of x, you know that the graph is a straight line, you know that the graph is a straight line moving at 45 degrees with x axis. Now if you want to integrate from minus 1 to 2, obviously you have a triangular area here and you have a triangular area here. So algebraically this triangle area is below x axis here so you need to consider this as a negative area and this area is above x axis so you need to consider it as a positive area. So let us try to find the algebraic sum of these two areas. So this is 1 because it is going at an angle of 45 degrees this length is also equal to 1. And this length is equal to 2, so this length will also be equal to 2. So what is the negative area? Half into 1 into 1 is the area, triangular area below x-axis. And half into 2 into 2, half into base into height, that is equal to 2, is the area above x-axis. So you have a positive 2 area and a negative half area. So what is the algebraic sum of these two is equal to 3 by 2 which is the answer. Next if you go to the curve x minus 2, so consider the curve y is equal to x minus 2, this is also a straight line where the x intercept, if you put y is equal to 0 the x intercept is 2 and the y intercept, if you put y x is equal to 0 y is equal to minus 2, so you have a straight line with a slope 1 again slope is equal to 1. So it is again moving at an angle of 45 degrees. So again, so from 2 to 1, the region is, the length is 1. Hence, because this is going at an angle of 45 degrees, the height will also be equal to 1. And for this triangle, the length is 2, the height is 2. So what is the region that we are talking about? This is the region that we are talking about. So the area below x-axis is negative, the area above x-axis is positive. So negative area, positive area. So if you look at the negative area, what is the negative area half into 1 into 1? It is half units with a negative sign. What is the area above x-axis? 2 into 2 into half. 2 units above x-axis, which is a positive area. So what is the algebraic sum of these two? This is equal to 3 by 2 again. So I hope you are seeing how this geometrical interpretation is working. So the geometrical interpretation of integration of a to b fx dx is the area bounded by the curve and x-axis. The algebraic sum of all the areas bounded by the curve with x-axis between x is equal to a and x is equal to b. Right? 
So if the limits are going from a smaller number to a bigger number, dx is positive. Hence, if the curve is below x-axis, the area is negative. Above x-axis, the area is positive. Sometimes, for example, the limits might go from a higher number to a lower number. So the limits might be 4 to 1. In that case, the dx will be negative. And the areas below x-axis have to be considered as positive. The areas above x-axis have to be considered as negative. So let us not go into that right now. We'll learn that later. So now, if the limits are going from smaller number to bigger number, integration represents the algebraic sum of areas.